Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, Mini Cooper, this is a 2001, um, the R50, and uh, basically I'm just having a very odd issue, just gonna connect the battery here, but uh, that light is coming on, some, some of the lights are coming on without the car being on or anything, but also I'm having a problem with the windows and uh, and many things, the central locking is not working, uh, nothing is actually responding, nothing is actually working. Um, so the radio is not working, the fan is not working. So having uh, had a look at the um, diagnostics fault, um, all I managed to find is that there is an issue between <laughs> somewhere in the, in the dash, but um, but that's led me to search a little bit more and it's led me to this um, control module um, the control module unit that is sitting in this case in the driver's side so I just pull this rubber out and then just uh, pop this cover here out a little bit and uh, <clears throat> the module is here so what, what is basically happening is that that module gets um, wet, apparently, and then it starts causing all these problems. So I just want to check exactly how, if it's wet or not. Actually, I think I can see down here. There might be a lot of uh, water build up. So I'm going to remove the module here and uh, try to clean the contacts and see if that helps. Otherwise, I think, I think it might be a matter of replacing this module. But if I buy one, uh, I think it needs to be programmed into the car. Or maybe there are some companies that are, can fix this issue. But basically, I've got no electric windows. I mean, most of the electrical things are not working. So let's go ahead and remove this module. Um, it's a 10 mil nut in here, and I think it's another one I saw somewhere up there. Or maybe down there. I'll have to just have to have a quick look there. Okay, so this cover just uh, pops out from there. It comes out upwards. Um, this cable will be just uh, holding in there, so I just loosened it. Um, we can then maybe try and get these connections out. The other 10 mil is sitting just behind this these cables here. I can I can just about fill it. So so that's what it is. And I just want to get that out. Let's get that 10 mil nut out. Mm -hmm. One is out. 
take this one out as well so there's definitely some short circuit going on because um, I have the indicators on when nothing is on okay so this will come out loose now a lot of um, I can see all that down there is wet so no wonder that there could be a situation here I just need to get this out okay all of that come out all the contacts look okay to be honest they don't really look um, dirty or corroded or anything like that even this one's here but there's definitely water on that side so whether that is causing some sort of um, interference inside I'm not sure but I'm guessing that it's more likely the case so I'm just gonna open this box as well and we can have a look inside okay so um, I've opened the module um, I remove all the little screws that seem to hold it in place as well but I can't really take this uh, board out. It seems to be glued onto the this metal part. It, it seems like it's glued and it's really, really um, difficult to to lift it up all around. So, but I can see um, the water that may have come in here could have damaged uh, the contacts behind this section here uh, at the moment what I'm planning to do is maybe effectively get a second hand one um, and then um, it's gonna have to be programmed into the car but uh, you can buy the second hand ones from, from eBay or so uh, they just don't <clears throat> they don't um, have the same um, coding, so um, that's what we it will have to probably happen. So um, for now and for this video, um, I hope this video helps. If you're trying to find this as well, the control module, um, and don't forget to subscribe. If I have any updates on this, I will let you know. In any case, if I buy another one of these, I will. Um, make another video on replacing it and uh, hopefully getting everything working on the car so everybody i uh, hope everybody's well and uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe